that, that whole setup there. So, uh, you know, whether or not we're, we're, yeah, so whether, once we get to hear what Brandon talked about, right, and we, and we start to put our hand on that and speed up, when we kick this up and we come up, I'll, yes, I can chase the back here, but one of the things, like, I'm all about strangling you. Like, I just, I, I want you to tap. So instead of chasing the back, I'm going to come up, I'm going to hook, I'm going to pull right back down, right? And this gets super tight, super fast. In our system, we call it the wall choke, right? It's just an arm triangle guillotine. I'll show it again from the very beginning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So he's here, right? I get to hear I hip out hard. And as I kick and come up, yes, I'm chasing the back, but immediately I'm going to overhook, be lazy here. I'm going to fall. Look at this leg. As my leg, as I fall, this hook comes across and I want to try to touch my heel to my knee and create a closed wedge. Right? That was me being nice. That was just body mechanics. There was no squeeze whatsoever. He was going unconscious with body mechanics. Right? So the key to this is when I get to here, and if you notice when I came up, I spread the chicken, this leg started to come out. I can chase the back. I can go to my the truck, whatever. But in this case, I'm going to be lazy with this hook, so immediately I get to here. And everybody's worried about this side. Yeah, that's the next side. Everybody's worried about this. I go here. I, if you notice, my left hand went in to block him from setting guard, right? So I got this hook in deep. This hand comes here, and now I just fall off. This hook that's inside, my knee comes up, and it frames the belt line. My shin frames the belt line to here. This leg kicks over, and I touch. Now, to finish, I pull up to me and pull in. So what I did there is I pulled up and in. I like this grip. You can use the, you can use this grip here, right? I like this grip and I try to touch my hands and my ear. So I pull up and in. Makes this super, super, super tight. Okay? So one more time from the same position, right? So we're here. I set up. I get to here, right? Turn. I come up. Look at how when I came up, I spread the chicken. This, hand, this leg, arm came in. Instead of chasing the back, I get lazy here, and I fall right back off. And this is super, super tight. The thing I like about this, the reason I hit this all the time, is it's a very high reward, low risk. So, for example, if I miss this technique, if his head pops out, I'm right back on the back. Right? So, it's like, you, you hit it, the match is over. You miss it, you're right back on the back, yeah. right? So you're you're always on the hunt. I try to base my jujitsu off of offensive cycles. I want to be on my offensive cycle way more than defensive cycle. If I'm always hunting for the tap, I'm trying to hunt, I'm trying to fight fire with fire. Like if you're being offensive with me and I'm on a defensive cycle, when I get back on my offensive cycle, I'm trying to finish you. It's just how I look at it. So one more time, and we'll, we'll rep it out. Okay, so I was here, I get to here, I come up, look at my hook, I was in, I oh, my, I spread the chicken here, hand comes over, I fall to my hip, I'm going to frame the belt line with this shin across his belt line. Try to create a closed wedge here, pull up and in for the tap. You can even drill it, when you put, after you get the tap, he'll pop his head out and chase the back again. Can I say one thing? Yep. So when Do do it again, Donnie, when you get your lazy arm. When Donnie falls down, he's closing my elbow off with his, his hips. Watch. So uh, yeah. see how I close my elbow? If you're lazy with this, if you fall off and give him too much space, arm's gonna come out and you just went from hero to zero. Right? So make sure that you're staying close, right? And always think about creating connection with your body. It's that invisible jujitsu. So when I'm being lazy here, I'm creating connection already with my bicep, my shoulder, my armpit, and my forearm. As I fall off, I'm creating connection with my rib cage. I can tap him with one hand right here. It's already super tight. Once I collect, it's over. It's just about staying, creating connection with your upper body and lower body and staying tight. Think we can get it? Yes, sir. One, two, three. Yes.